Welcome back to the Science Hub. We shall be doing chromatography. Chromatography is the separation of colors. My friend here will tell us the requirements for chromatography. The requirements are a dropper, propanol, a beaker, a filter paper, and also a leaf. Now I hand it over to Florence who's going to show us the procedure of going to pull. Crush some leaves using a mortar and a pestle. After that, decant the extract into, into a beaker. Place a filter paper on top of an empty beaker. Using a dropper, add two or three drops of the extract on the filter paper. I hand it over to my colleague. Uh, the, col the coloring matter in green leaves is, uh, is, is composed of different substances. As you can see, propanion is used to dissolve uh, the coloring matters. Each, coloring, each colored substance has a different solubility in propanion and a different extent of adsorption. What is adsorption? It's the binding of molecules or particles of a gas or liquid to the surface of a solid. It is temporary and reversible. As you can see, the, the preponone, I mean, sorry, uh, the, the drop of the crushed leaves is spreading and, and preponone uh, As the, uh, as the propanone spreads the pigment, which are more soluble and uh, less absorbed, are carried farthest. Carried farthest, as you can see, the less, the more, uh, the more soluble, and the less soluble are more absorbed and are left behind at the center where we place the the drop. And you can notice that there's a green substance and a yellow substance. And the farthest point where the farthest point where the solvent reaches is known as the solvent front. So you can see the outline of it. And this is the method of chromatography. And chroma means a color, and chromatology is the study of colors. The colored matter is separated into two distinct uh, uh, pigments. That is a chlorophyll and xanthophyll. Uh, and chlorophyll is the green color, while xanthophyll uh, is uh, the yellow color, as you can see. And before Let's assume that before we had we had uh, put the drop of uh, the, the 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 drop, uh, the filter paper on its own without it was known as a, a adsorbent. <coughs> Known as the adsorbent material, and while uh, 
and while uh, you you put the drop, it's referred to as a chromatogram. And if you've noticed that uh, the xanthophyllum is more soluble and less adsorbed, as you can see. Hand it over to Nicole to explain to you, to tell you the applications of the chromatography. There are various applications that chromatography are used in life. For example, in sports, chromatography is used to, to identify burned substances for example, steroids in urine or in blood samples. Secondly, in the pharma pharmaceutical. pharmaceutical industry to test purity of drugs. Third, to food industry to identify contaminants in food substances. Fourth, in cosmetics industry to identify harmful substances and to identify HIV AIDS. I will pass it over to Florence, who is going to continue the procedure. Thanks for watching. No, she's supposed to show mm -hmm. what happened. Uh, okay, like the she's part where she said that she she's turning it show. over to the yeah. 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 yeah, what if you like there's someone who is dead here? If you're not talking, you know, to show that relationship that we were here before we started. Yeah? Please mm -hmm. please let me see. Yeah, yeah smile a little bit. It's only for you that you understand what she's talking about. So the part where she said that she handed it over to for the continuation, it's not that she that was already done. She said she said she said that 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 she So there are various active there are various uses of chromatography in life. For example, in sports, chromatography is used to identify burnt substances. For example, steroids in urine and in blood samples. In the pharmaceutical industry to test purity of drugs. In food industry to identify contaminants in food and drinks. In the cosmetics industry to identify harmful substances and to identify HIV AIDS. I am going to hand it over to Florence. Thanks for watching. Hope you understood what we taught. Okay.